Welcome to a special UP Tech Tip podcast. This is Ben Kahn, Academic Technology Specialist and Trainer at the University of Portland. And today, in this mini podcast, I actually want to talk about podcasts as a subject that you might want to consider for your teaching. So what I'm talking about today is to use um, an iPhone app, and there are several out there that you can try. The one I'm using is called Opinion. Uh, And these are apps that you can get that make it very, very easy to get in and try podcasting. So I don't want to spend too much time on the uh, why, because this will mostly be about the how, but why would you want to consider podcasting? If you're thinking about flipping your classroom and delivering teaching content online to free up class time for active learning or, or face-to-face or group uh, projects or whatever it might be, uh, you know, podcasts are a great uh, medium that you might want to consider. We often think about delivering video as media that we can uh, use to flip our classrooms. But we also talk about multi-mode learners just kind of mixing up the type of content that we're delivering. And we also can think about your audience of students, um, your audience of potential learners. So even if your audience are college freshmen that are 18 years old living on campus, or if they're graduate students that are commuting or, or consuming a lot of your content online, you know, they're probably busy. They're busy people. Do they have to commute? Do they have to do their dishes sometimes or take their dogs on walks or anything that or exercise or anything that they might be doing where there would be a great time to maybe get in and listen to a podcast and keep their hands free, but maybe still kind of engage with your content in that way. So if you are looking to get into podcasting, you know, it can seem like an intimidating thing to start doing because there's all this equipment that you need to buy, microphones, you need a good computer, You need to be running relatively complex um, recording applications like Audacity or GarageBand to do editing, and then you have to figure out how to publish it. So what the apps like Opinion can do, or there's others as well, I know that uh, Sam Williams in our department has has recommended Audio Boom in the past, is they just make it so easy to record. There's literally just a record button that I hit, and I'm going. And in my case, I'm using the little ear, the Apple EarPods that came with my um, phone, to maybe get a a slight bump up in audio quality. And it's not going to be stellar, but it's probably going to be very, very listenable, Um, just using the the phone and the ear pods that I already have. So there's just one button that's a record button. I hit it, and I start going. I see a little icon on my screen that lets me know that I'm recording and picking up audio. And uh, when it does come time to edit, and I've done this before, it uses sort of a um, a unique uh, method I've never, never really seen before, where it's more of like a vertical timeline that you can look at and kind of scroll through. It works really well on a phone. And really all you can do to edit your podcast down is there is a scissor icon so you can make a cut in it. And um, once you have your podcast cut into different pieces, you can just drag and drop them around or you can delete them. And that's that's really it. And uh, then when it comes time to um, share your podcast, of course, they've made that very easy as well. There's the share button that you might be familiar with. If you ever you know, use your mobile browser on your phone to uh, share things to Facebook or anything like that. It's the same little share icon. You give that a tap and you're able to send this off to, um, you can actually sign up for an opinion podcasting service that's free and you can start a podcast and publish it that way. Or you can just get an audio file, um, send that over to your camera roll on your phone, or uh, you can publish straight to SoundCloud, which is very easy to use, uh, you know, online It's almost like the YouTube of audio, I would say. So you can easily send something to SoundCloud and embed that into a Moodle or just link to it if you want to. Um, Even what I did was I had my MacBook uh, nearby, so I had the option to use AirDrop and just wirelessly send the audio file to my computer for additional editing if if you wanted to do that. So it's very easy and flexible to get the sound off of the phone. So this is something that I would I would definitely encourage faculty to be checking out. Um, this is a free app, so you can record up to 10 minutes completely free. And that actually, even though that sounds like a limitation, that might actually be a bonus because that's going to force you to be very concise and succinct uh, when you're talking to your students um, and delivering your content, or at the very least, uh, kind of forcing you to think about chunking your content into very bite-sized and easy-to-consume pieces. So I'm coming up on the five-minute mark right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and sign off. I hope you enjoyed this UP Tech Talk uh, or this UP Tech Tips podcast, rather. Uh, you can always find more of these tips um, on my blog at sites.up.edu slash con or at the Teaching and Learning blog at sites.up.edu slash tl.
Thanks.